The start point for this ride is at Clacken of Glenda Rule, the home of the Kilmoden Stones, which is a set of medieval carved grave slabs housed in the grounds of the Kirk here in the Clacken. I'm going to ride the Kilfinnan circuit, which can be done in either a clockwise direction or the other way around. Today I'm doing it clockwise, so we'll be taking the A8003 road to Tyna Bruach first. After turning right off the A886 trunk road, the A8003 runs alongside the head of Loch Rule, a wide tidal estuary which is an expanse of mudflats at low tide. From the junction, where a minor road continues along the shore of Loch Rule to Ormidale Lodge, the road climbs over the next three kilometres to an altitude of about 180 metres. Near the top of the climb, there is a very fine viewpoint overlooking the head of Loch Rural to the north and the Kyles of Butte to the south. The road descends to Tyner Bruach, higher up above the West Kyles of Butte, with the rugged north end of Butte only a short distance across the water. Recent tree felling has opened up the views on the way down to Tyner Bruach. A side street on the left of the main road leads steeply down to the Tynebruch waterfront and then it's a right turn along the shore road before a short climb up to the adjacent village of Kames.
road goes right at Cames for a further short climb over the hill before we run down into Mill House. Mill House was once home to a gunpowder works and it is thought that much of the oak woods which still exist on the Isle of Butte were planted as commercial woodland to provide charcoal for this mill. The works were founded in 1839 and apparently continued in production until as late as 1921. The factory had its own pier in Cames for bringing in the raw materials and for ferrying out the finished product to larger seagoing vessels which anchored in deeper water near to the coast of Butte. As might be expected, unfortunately, there were a number of fatal accidents at the works over the years of operation, in which a total of 20 workers were killed by explosions. The Botanica at the Barn Restaurant and Cafe is a good place to take a break. It is located on the site of a former lavender farm. Hi, a wee tea break at the Botanica at the barn. Hi, the pet hen at the, at the Botanica at the barn. I always come scrounging this pen. From Mill House, the ride now takes the B8000 road to Kilfinnan, climbing to a high point of about 170 metres at Loch Meldalach. This road is part of a strategic timber haulage route, transporting timber from the extensive conifer plantations found in this part of Argyll. The status of the road means that the surface has been improved along several sections. Quad 72 metres. Beyond Meldalloch, the road descends again to a bridge over the river Ochalic, so another climb has to be undertaken as far as Drum Farm before they run downhill into Kilfinnan. View of a lock fine.
The church here in Kilfinnan dates back to the 13th century. It is the burial place of the clan chiefs of the Laments, who ruled Cowell over many centuries until an appalling massacre committed by the men of Clan Campbell at Toward Castle near Dunoon in 1646. As occurred in the infamous Glencoe Massacre in 1692, this less well-known massacre also involved an abuse of the Highland tradition of hospitality given by the Laments, who were murdered by their guests while still in their beds. The original Toward Castle is now a ruin, close to the more recent Castle Toward, which dates back to 1820 and was built as a country house. The road north out of Kilfinnan crosses the Kilfinnan Burn, and then there is another climb up to an altitude of 100 metres or so, followed by the descent to the east shore of Loch Fyne at Otter Ferry. The Oyster Catcher Inn, located close to the beach at Otter Ferry, is a popular spot for day trippers and provides excellent food and a selection of fine beers. Otter Ferry derives its name not because it is a place inhabited by otters, but from the Gaelic, an oiter, which means a spit. A short distance west of the Otter Ferry Quay, there is a long spit of shingle stretching out across Loch Fine for about a mile. It is a serious hazard for marine traffic, and so a markup indicates the limit of the deeper navigable water further out. It is this spit which gives Otter Ferry its name. Ah, beautiful Loch Fine. Uh, the tide's kind of half in, half out in a minute. The spit usually goes out much further than that when the tide's low. Ah, it's such a beautiful avenue of trees leading into Otter Estate. A ferry once operated from here across to the west shore of Loch Fine, where a quay is located at West Otter Ferry, close to Port Anne. The crossing of about two miles is far shorter than the long circuitous road route right around the top of Loch Fine. Otter Ferry Seafish, which is based here, is an important marine hatchery and specialises in the production of wrasse and lumpfish, two species of cleaner fish which are used as an alternative to harmful chemicals in salmon fish farms to clean the salmon of sea lice. The company also operates a halibut hatchery. It's a long haul back over the hills from Otter Ferry to Glenda Rule. The route is an unclassified single track road which reaches an altitude of 320 metres at the Bialak Andrain. <laughs> 182 metres. Uh, just a bit over halfway now, then. The uphill section from Otter Ferry is also part of the strategic timber haulage route but does not continue beyond the Bialik and drain as the other side involves a series of tight bends which can't be negotiated by long vehicles. It's hot and humid today. It's really hot work getting up here. Right. 
250 meters now, so it's another 70 to go to the top of the Alcantara. Levels out a bit here, for the last uh, 30 metres of so to the top. 320 metres, altimeters just reading a little bit lower than that. But uh, it's now a great spin down to Glenda Rule. Here we go. Here we go. Once over the Bialik Andrain, we come to the highlight of the ride. A sensational fast descent all the way down to Glenda Rule, with superb views down to the wide, fertile and green floor of the valley.
great. Oh, this lovely old bridge over the Ruel River. We stop, take a look at the burn. the river it's running down to Loch Ridden or Loch Rule and the Kyles of Butte. What a beautiful river. There's the bike, just let the brakes cool off after that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 